This video is entitled Combinators and is a companion for Chapter 10 of So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS by James M. Renault, Ph.D. I'm Dr. Renault, and I'll be taking you through this presentation on using CSS Combinators. CSS Combinators are used to combine multiple CSS uh, selectors to create more complex selectors. There are several different combinators, and I'm only going to discuss the five big ones that I use most often. And if you need to look at some of the other combinators, um, you can do that using you you can do that using the documentation. So we're going to talk about the this and that combinator. We're going to talk about the descendant combinator. We're going to talk about the direct children combinator. We're going to talk about the adjacent sibling combinator, and we're going to talk about the general sibling combinator. So the this and that combinator. If you put a selector, comma, and another selector, CSS will say, oh, you want that style in the curly cues and the curly braces to be, be applied to either of those selectors. So if you have the same style that you want shared across multiple selectors, you just say selector comma selector. So for instance, if you wanted the same style to be uh, applied to all of the H1s and the H2s, you could say H1 comma H2, and the this and that combinator would then apply that one style to multiple selectors. So in this video, instead of showing HTML, I'm just showing kind of a generic um, HTML page so that you can see how these combinators work. And the style C comma I comma E is going to get all of the tags that are of type C. It's going to get all of the tags that are of type I and it's going to apply the style to all of the tags that are of type E. So you can see that a C tag, the I tag, and the E tag that I've bolded would be selected by this combinator of the this and that. So the descendant combinator is a selector space second selector, and it finds all of the elements that match selector 2 that are anywhere inside of a selector one. So it finds the descendants, finds any descendant of type two that are in type one. If you have three types, it would find all of the type threes inside of type twos, inside of type ones. The descendant combinator is a space. So the descendant combinator of Q space Y would find all of the Y tags inside the Q tag, and you can see those highlighted over here. The direct child combinator actually just gets those tags that are directly children of the parent tag. So by putting the greater than, it says find all of the selector twos that are directly in, not grandchildren or inside others inside of others, like the previous one, like the descendants, um, that gets any descendant that matches. But this is just the descendants that are directly inside of selector one. So these are get the children not the grandchildren or the great-grandchildren, just the children. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here I'm saying Q direct children star. So find all of the elements that are of type Q and find all of their direct children. So you can see that that would be the F, G, and H tags and the I, J, K tags that are directly within Q, but notice it didn't get the grandchildren. It didn't get all the X and Y tags. It only got the direct children, the FGH and the IJK, within the, the two Q tags. Direct children. The adjacent sibling combinator is the plus, and what that says is find the Next, find the first element of type 2, of selector 2, 
that follows the selector one at the same level. So you can think of of their their children within a parent, and they're all the same level children. So that would be find the next brother or sister. Find the next brother or sister. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So up above, I have the uh, combinator of Q plus star. So that says find all the Q tags and then find any, find the next element that's the child, that's the child of the same level, that's the sibling of the same level. Um, yeah, that's a sibling following it, the direct sibling, adjacent sibling. So you can see that it grabbed the C tag because it's the sibling that followed the Q and also grabbed the E tag because it's the sibling that followed the Q. Notice it found siblings, not children. The adjacent sibling just got the next sibling. The general sibling selector, which is the tilde or the squiggle, um, gets all of the selector twos that follow selector one at the same level. So all of the siblings of selector one that follow that match selector two, the general sibling combinator. So here in my style above, I say, give me all of the general siblings following the I tag. And you can see that it found the I tag and then it returned J and K because those are siblings of I at the same child level. They're at the same level. So it returned J and K, or the general sibling following the I tag. These combinators are a little difficult to understand, um, and, and you're probably going, I don't quite see how this is going to work. The trick is going to be working with them. The trick is going to be creating HTML and using the selectors to go get what you need. Um, using these combinators to get what you need. It just takes a little time and a little practice. You can do it. I know you can. This presentation was copyright 2020 by James Imbrino, PhD. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial share alike 4.0 international license. You can contact me at jim at rejm dot com if you have any questions or find any errors. And I'd like to say thank you for watching.